Are you ready to read a story about a kitty cat? It's story time! Meow, meow, meow. Today we'll be reading Duncan and Dolores. Duncan and Dolores by Barbara Samuels. One day, Faye and Dolores saw a sign. Needs a home, four years old. His name is Duncan. He's cute, said Dolores, and he's just my age. I want a cat like that. But animals run away from you, Dolores. I want that cat, said Dolores. Poor Duncan, sighed Faye. The next day, Duncan was delivered in a case. Now you're my cat, said Dolores, and you will come out and play with me. Duncan shot out of the case and disappeared under a cabinet. Oh dear, it's starting already, said Faye. Later that night, come to bed, Dolores. I'm going to sit here till Duncan comes out. Just leave some food by the cabinet. He'll come out when he's ready, said Faye. Okay, but I'll leave him this note so he'll know where I am. Oh, brother, said Faye. Two days later. I'm so glad you finally came out, Duncan. Now we can play dress up. Cats don't play dress up, said Faye. Duncan does. Today I will wear a beautiful cape and he can wear this lovely hat. Duncan didn't want to play dress up. I understand, Duncan. You'd rather do tricks. I will throw this ball and you will bring it back to me. Go get it, Duncan. Duncan didn't want to do tricks. Here, Duncan, called Faye softly. You don't have to do tricks. Duncan walked over to Faye and sat in her lap. The next morning, Duncan doesn't like me, said Dolores. He likes you better than me. I think he's afraid of you, said Faye. Duncan afraid of me? How silly! You're not afraid of me, are you, Duncan? <laughs> How come you always play with Faye? You never play with me. This isn't fair. It would be a lot quieter around here if you'd leave that poor cat alone. Faye grumbled. That's fine with me, said Dolores. I have better things to do than chase that fat cat. Dolores made a hiding place with chairs and an old blanket. Then she had tea with Martha and Mabel she did not ask Duncan to join them. After tea, she played the piano and refused to notice Duncan. And when she took her nap, she hugged her teddy bear, not Duncan.
later that day. Now look what you've done! Look at him, he's making a mess. Duncan rolled the paintbrush towards Dolores. It stopped at her feet. Why, thank you, Duncan, said Dolores. Duncan purred softly. That night, Duncan sat on my easel today, said Dolores. Really, said Faye. Then he brought me my paintbrush. That's nice, said Faye. Look, Faye, whispered Dolores. Look at Duncan. His chin is on my neck and, my, and it tickles. Faye. Uh-oh. The End Duncan and Dolores by Barbara Samuels Just a girl and her cat. I hope you guys all enjoyed the story. I'll see you next time for story time. Bye! Hey, Shams wanted to say goodbye too. Bye-bye. See you next time.